Fantastic. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for having me. It's truly an honor. My name is Basil Camus. I work with Leaf and Limb. We care for trees because we love our planet. And we, of course, offer all the services you'd expect from a tree care company like planting and preservation and pruning, these sorts of things. But we're purpose-driven, which means we also take time to educate folks about the importance of trees, spread awareness, and that is why I'm here today. I love this planet and I think most of you can agree, this is just an amazing place. Unfortunately, a lot's changing quickly. We have big issues that are facing us today and I wanna talk a little bit about that and then I'm gonna get into Project Pando and how I hope that Pando can help solve some of these issues. So one of the big things is uh, trees, Topsoil, water, these things are disappearing. We cut down about a football field worth of trees every two seconds. We've lost half of our topsoil in the last 150 years and half of the aquifers on planet earth are drying too fast to be replenished. Not only that, but we're losing a lot of biodiversity. World Wildlife Foundation estimates that we've lost about 60% of all animals, birds and insects in the last 40 years. 40 years is the blink of an eye in terms of ecosystems time scale. Not only that, but carbon is being released from a stable state. So left to its own, nature typically holds carbon uh, within trees, within soil, within oceans, these sorts of things, it's in a stable state. But when we deforest, when we burn, when we do agriculture with chemical inputs, these things all move carbon from its stable state into this oxidized state in the atmosphere. And this is happening very rapidly, faster than ecosystems can adapt. So what to do? Well, there's a lot that we need to do. But one of the things I would suggest is to think trees. Trees are one of nature's original tools used to create this planet that we know and love today. Trees can be a really important part of how we go about healing this planet and caring for this planet. But to do that, to plant billions of trees and reforest the planet, we're gonna hit some other issues. New trees are expensive. If you've been to the nursery, you know, new trees cost $50 all the way up to $300. They're not cheap. If you wanna reforest an area, then you've either gotta pay a lot of money for these trees, or you've gotta use saplings, which have their own challenges and often don't survive. So we've gotta overcome this bit about trees being expensive. Not only that, but the wrong species are being grown and sold. Most nurseries in this area and all over the US, quite frankly, are selling species from Asia. And those might look beautiful, but when you plant them here, our local wildlife, our insects, they can't feed on those trees. They did not co-evolve with those trees. So they're not able to digest the leaves or the berries. And then the way that trees are being grown is destroying genetic diversity. It's uh, cloning, propagation, these techniques, uh, you end up getting a genetically identical tree. So for example, here in the Raleigh area, if you go into a new community and you see red maples on the streets, those are all probably genetically identical to each other and not only to each other, but to every other community in this area. So we have to think about genetic diversity. Inter Project Pando. This is a nonprofit initiative from Leaf and Limb. Uh, we hope that this can help solve some of those issues that we've just discussed. Um, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the project and what we hope that this project can achieve. So first, what is Project Pando? It's a volunteer driven tree farm that grows native trees to give to the public for free. We wanna harvest all those billions of acorns and seeds that drop every single season. And we wanna grow them using volunteer uh, help and using regenerative practices like you know, leave, composting leaves and wood chips and all these things and raise these trees up, these native trees, and then give them away to the public for free. Right now, we're doing this at the Williamson Preserve. Triangle Land Conservancy has graciously allowed us to use uh, the Chickasaw Plum Field. And uh, we began this uh, earlier this year. We actually started the project a year ago um, but then uh, TLC gave us this land several months ago and we have begun work. 
that should clarify, they didn't give us the land, they let us use the land. Uh, and who is joining us for this work? So right now it's Leaf and Limb employees. It's, uh, you know, folks from who know about Leaf and Limb, maybe they're clients or they see what we do. It's folks from the general public. It's anybody who has an interest in caring for the planet, growing trees. These are the folks who are already helping with this project. Next, I wanna tell you a little bit about what we hope to solve, some of the solutions we hope to produce. So first, collecting seeds from wild, from public lands, from forests, from old trees, we hope to bring genetic diversity back into the landscape. Remember y'all, diversity is the key to nature. This is like one of the crux things with nature. You've gotta have diversity. So we hope to bring that back. We also hope uh, that uh, we can reintroduce native trees in force. So we would like to turn communities from these food deserts for birds and for insects into food havens so that you know, migratory birds passing over can stop and feed freely and we can begin feeding the things that live here naturally and thus bolstering and helping our ecosystems recover. And then really we wanna open up the pipeline to free trees. We think trees should be free. I mean, after all, seeds are growing everywhere. Saplings are sprouting up everywhere. Why can't trees be free? With just a little bit of work and a little bit of know-how and a little bit of knowledge, we can take this free resource, make it available for everybody and, and just open up this pipeline to free trees. We also hope to create an open source blueprint. We wanna give our work away to the world for free. We hope that other communities and other cities and other states all over the US will take the work that we're doing, the videos, the how-tos, the guides, take exactly what we've done and, and, and make it their own, get their own volunteer task force, build on our work, and then we can create thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of Project Panda hubs all over the country. Because ultimately this is what we're after. We've got to help heal the planet. We've got to care for the planet we have. If we're going to put trillions of trees in the ground, if we're going to reforest this planet, we need readily available native species. And I do believe we can do this. I believe this is good for the planet. And I hope that all of you are interested in potentially in, um, joining this project. And sorry, y'all, I jumped my slide a little bit there. This is the part where I tell you uh, my recommendation for what you can do to get involved. So uh, care for trees, plant trees, particularly native trees, I'd recommend that. Uh, if you're interested in getting involved with Project Panda, we'd really love to have you. And on this final slide, which we'll transition to right now, there's gonna be some links. Uh, it's leaflimb.com forward slash Panda. Um, my email is here, you can reach out to me. We'd love to have you get involved, but even if you don't join Project Panda, please plant trees, care for the ones you have, these things will help heal the planet. Thanks so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it.